I'm Jesse Hawkins with, uh, I'm over Plant 2 Production Assistant down here and uh, we're gonna go over our deep V anglers up the baseline here. The, the holes come down in three pieces. We got side sheets and we got holes. This is our center piece. They come from fab like this, they're broke. And then we take them over here. We put them up on this jig and then they get welded on the bottom side and the top side. You can see that it's welded on both sides of that. From there, they come over here, we pre-drill for our transoms. And in this, in these transoms, there's a, there's a rivet every, every half inch. There's 24 rivets for a foot of boat. We put this foam tape down the sides where the side sheets go. It'll also have that same rivet pattern all the way down the side. We'll actually screw them on, then drill them, and then rivet them. The screws help suck out all the gap. That way, after we pull the rivets, there's no gaps down through there and the foam takes up the extra. From there, the boats come up here. This is where our, our gunnels go on. This is an extruded gunnel. As you can see, there's a lot of support inside there that really makes it strong. This is what the, sets the beam of the boat and makes the structure at the top. This, this boat's pretty, pretty loose without the gunnel. You can see this, how it moves. Once we set that gunnel on there, it gets a rivet every six inches from front to back. It actually gets a little weld at the front underneath the nose cone, and it'll get a little weld at the back to seal it off. From here, from the, after the gunnel's on the boat, we sub-build all our substructure we can. We put it up on saw horses. We'll put the transom in it. This is a tubing transom. We changed it from wood a few years back. Then our substructures will go inside here. We'll drill them down, suck out all the gaps. In the bow area of this boat, it'll be double-plated in the bow. Now on our 17s through 21s, they're double plated all the way back to the transom from the bow. And the substructure will go on top of that. That's just like having two holes in the middle. From there, after we get all the gaps sucked out, you can see these screws sticking out. This boat goes to the stand up. We'll drive up all these rivets and then we'll take these screws out and we'll put rivets in the screw holes. This is where it also gets the plumbing in the transom and it gets the lifting strakes and it will have the keel put on it. After this, the boat will go into the test tank and stay in the test tank for 10 minutes we beat it, we take a rubber mount, we beat it down to try to simulate some rough water simulation. And then leave it in there. If it leaks, we take it out, repair it, we put it back in another 10 minutes. I have actually had to fill boats up with water just, for, just to find a little seeping rivet because there's times after them double plates, it kind of hides itself. So you got to fill it up and it drifts right off the rivets leaking. We fix it, dry it out, put it on the line and build it. All right, after, the, after it comes out of the test tank, we know it's dry, it's going to be a good. We put it on the production line here. Here's where we start putting in this. It's got knee braces goes in. They're welded in the back. We start our rear deck area. This is where they start looking like a boat. We got our substructure up here in the front. We've already got the floor down in this one. There's a series of foam stops that go inside there. There's foam that go into areas. We, we block it off from other areas for, to make sure we got drainage down in the middle of the boat. These are set on 12 inch centers across here for strength, and the same thing in the front ones. The sub bulkheads are set on 12 inch centers underneath that plate. After that boat is, reaches that stage, it gets, this is our sub assembled front deck. We build them over here outside the boat. They're actually TIG welded on top, and on the bottom side, all these tubes are MIG welded. We put the dry boxes in, bolt them in, make sure the live well's in, rivet them in, and then we'll put it inside the boat. Uh, after, after it gets the front deck in it, it comes up here, comes off the line. We finish weld where we can. We finish weld every, all the tubing in it. Places like that, we make sure we give it good and clean. We try to vacuum all the shavings out of it here at this place. It gets a quality check one more time here. And after that, it goes to foam. After all the finish welding's done on the production line, it comes over to foam area. Now this boat's already foam, but you can see the plugs in here. Everywhere there's a plug, there's a foam shot and there's a series of foam stops underneath there to keep foam from getting in places where we need water drainage. And then inside the runners, they pretty much fill them all the way up, not only for flotation, but support of the floor and support of the bottom of the boat. Back here in the rear, in the motor well area, we fill up these pods. There's a shot, there's a couple shots back in here underneath the motor well, help support the weight of that motor in the back. Put way, we put more foam in there than what we need uh, to make sure for flotation, but and for support of the bottom of the boat, makes for a way better ride. Okay, 
This is a boat after it's been through base. We've got it washed, we've got it painted. And it's, this is when they start looking like getting a pretty paint job on them. They start looking like a boat. As you can see, at least after it's all drove up and painted, all them nice straight uh, rivet lines, got the lifting strakes on the, on the bottom. We try, even though it's the bottom of the boat, we try to keep them just as straight and shiny as we can. Okay, here we are over on finish after they're painted. They're ready to go. This boat here is quite a ways down the line. They've already got their wiring run on it. They got our hydraulics for our steering, got our wiring for our motor, and then the rear decks put together. As you can see, they're put the insides in it. They got the consoles, this, this console set, still got to put that one on, and it's starting to come together as a finished boat. After, after they get everything done, we'll push it up here. It'll go through hydraulic testing, it'll go through electrical testing, and we'll test it through and through. That console's already been testing our subassembly area, trying to catch them electrical problems and it gets a good cleaning and be a final inspection before it goes out the door. That's the tour, it kind of shows you how we build the boat from start to finish. Uh, I just like to say I think we build the, one of the structure of the soundest boat with the dual hole, with the double hole plate and to be the driest boat with these dry boxes. And I really can't think of taking my family and anything else other than a G3.